All right, how's it going everyone? So I wanna have a little video to talk about Bun and kind of talk about how much faster is Bun than using Node. There's a lot of hype on YouTube right now about this library, um, or sorry, this runtime. And I just wanted to kind of verify, is this actually that much faster or is there just a lot of hype going on? So I kind of went to the Bun site and I want to kind of, you know, analyze their benchmarks here. They got like a, a, a graph here that looks pretty substantially faster than Node. And I was gonna click on this view source and notice that it goes to a page that doesn't load, okay? So maybe they changed the URL and I need to go dig through their code. But that's kind of a red flag to like not know the actual source code that was used to make this random benchmark here. But anyway, it's supposed to be a lot faster. It's supposed to be able to bundle your code faster and kind of add node modules faster. So let's give it um, let's give it some grace. Uh, so I do want to state that Bun is in beta. So a lot of this is still under development. There's a lot of bugs still. Um, this thing's not ready for production. So if you're new to web development and you're kind of getting overwhelmed with all this tech and should you even learn about this piece of technology, honestly, I would say don't worry about this. It's far from being ready for production. So just focus on learning about Node or whatever that you're currently working on. And then also on the Bun GitHub, they have this little like benchmark here that says it can handle so many requests per second by running this HTTP load test, which is like a C file that you have to basically go and do a make file to compile it and so you can run it yourself. I'm going to show you my my results personally from my testing. So let's kind of look at my results and I just want you to kind of figure out for yourself like is Bun that much faster or is this uh, a little bit getting overhyped at this point? So to share with you my test setup, I'm using something called Artillery. So this is a library you can use for load testing. You can basically set up some type of scenarios that just kind of send as many requests as possible to whatever API endpoint that you want. It's a great tool for figuring out if your services are going to hold up when they get hammered with a lot of traffic or not. I'm going to be using that and let me show you my setup. So I'm going to go over to my code right now and I have two main folders. I have a bun folder which is basically hosting a bun API and just returning a hello world response. Nothing too extravagant. Honestly the benchmark I'm doing is, isn't probably even a good benchmark honestly but that's all it's doing, just returning hello world. And then we have a node server that's written in TypeScript and I'm going to be running this in TS node, right? So there might be a little bit of overhead of using TS node to host this. But same idea, we have a server that takes requests and returns a hello world response. Now I did notice that there's an extra exclamation mark here so the test is not identical, but it should be close enough, right? So I'm not gonna be running these in this video. I already did the results, I'm gonna show you them. But basically I have a separate laptop that has like eight cores. I ran bun, I did the load test, and then I ran node, I did the load test, and I kind of aggregated some results. So I wanna share those with you in just a second. But let me show you my artillery file. Basically I'm hitting this laptop with some scenarios. Um, there's two scenarios I'm doing, there's sustain, which means I'm basically hitting this server with 250 requests a second, basically, right? For two minutes straight, I just keep on hitting the server to see how it can hold with the sustained load. And then I also did another test for just ramping up, right? So I wanna kinda of keep on ramping up the number of requests per second to find out at what point does the server start to kinda of fall apart. So those are the tests that I ran with artillery and I'm gonna kinda of show you the output as well. And then I also ran some tests using the uh, HTTP load test here, which is written in C. I'm going to show you how I did that. But let's just look at some results, right? All right, let's go ahead and look at some results. Um, so on the left here is bun, and on the right is node, okay? And we are going to kind of scroll through here to see if we can kind of break this apart, analyze a little bit. When I did the load test against bun with the ramp up scenario, right? So I started about 50 requests per second, and I ramped it up all the way to 500. We ended up getting about 1,000 failed requests, right? Some of those were connection resets and some of those were connection not available. Now, if you compare that against Node, we only had 611 failed and all 611 were connection times out. So maybe those are just returning different error codes based on different scenarios. But again, Bun is in beta. So there's probably a lot of things that might have bugs when you start hitting a really high load versus Node. It's been around for a very long time. It might be a little bit more resilient. But the thing that people are talking about is performance. So let's go ahead and scroll down and see if we can kind of analyze this chart a little bit more and see anything about performance. All right, so here we have some requests where you can kind of see it's starting to ramp up the number of requests. And you can see here, um, this request panel down here, at a certain point when we get around to like 120 uh, seconds in the test, the requests hit about 5,200 for node and then for 
bun, we got up to like 4,414. So I don't know what to take from that. I mean, maybe there's nothing really too much to take from that. I did try ramping up and running the test for a longer period. And at a certain point, both these servers just start kind of having issues keeping up. But for the most part, there's nothing too extravagant here. Like there's some discrepancies between both of them, but I'm assuming that some of these drop-offs are when like the errors happen. But the thing that we're kind of concerned about or interested in is performance, right? How quick does this API respond on average when you make a request? So if you look at the median for bun, it's about 13.1, which is pretty fast. And then if you compare that to node, the median is about 15. So yes, bun is a little bit faster by about two milliseconds for the median. Let's also check out the P95. So if you don't know what P95 is, it basically means that uh, 95 of the requests will be either this value or below. So in this case in bun, 95 of all requests were either 29 milliseconds or below. And if you compare that to node, node was about 104. So yes, bun is bun is pretty a lot faster, right? Bun is at least three times faster in terms of the average response time. And then if you look at P99, node was about almost 400 milliseconds for P99. That means that 1% of the requests was over 400, basically. If you compare that to bun, uh, you get about one fourth of that. So 82 versus 400. So bun is definitely winning in, uh, in terms of response time. And there's really nothing too much else we can kind of look at here. I mean, node had less failures. So if that's something that you kind of care about and you rather have your API not crash instead of just being slow, then yeah, maybe it's probably better to stick with node. But overall, it seems like bun is actually decently a lot faster. Let's compare some more results. So that was with the, the ramp up. Let's look at the sustained load. On the, oh, I have these swapped over. Let me put bun on the left to keep it consistent. And I'm gonna put uh, node on the right. All right, so we got bun on the left and we got node on the right. You notice how both tests were still 30,000 requests. We had no errors which is good. They both kind of sustain that load of 250 requests per second pretty well. And if we scroll down to the response time metrics, that's the thing we kind of care about because all these charts just kind of look consistent. Let's compare some more data, right? So for bun, the median was, hopefully this will show up if I hover over. It's really hard to hover over this. Maybe I need to zoom in a little bit more. Okay, again, median is 13.1, which I believe was the last one too. So if you look at that and compare it to node, we also got 13.1, okay? So with a, a normal scenario where you have sustained load against your server, it looks like the median is pretty much identical between node and bun. Now, if you look at the P95, we have 34.1 compared to 29.1, right? So Sustain load, node's actually doing better, right? If you have a, a normal API server, you're not getting a bunch of random like DDoS attacks or you're not getting a huge flood of, uh, what's it called, the hug of death on Reddit. Uh, node seems like it's performing better with the P95. If you compare it to P99, you got 153 for node and then you have 223 for bun. So node is actually doing a much better job. And even if you look at the max here, max is going up to about 1800 bun compared to max of being 529 so it seems like node is actually a little bit faster than bun and those supreme speeds that everyone's talking about with bun doesn't seem like it's holding up when you just have a normal api server just getting a normal amount of load which honestly is what you're going to be getting most of the time right because you're going to be horizontally scaling all your node services and you're not going to have this huge spike of traffic ever hit one box hopefully so that's kind of the results I got from my artillery testing. Um, let me also share with you the other results I got, which was running this command that Bun has kind of on their page here, right? So they say that you can get this many requests per second with Apple Silicon M1 Max. I ran this same command, so 20 connections, this you know host, and then a port of 7,000 because that's where my thing's running. The main difference is I'm on bun like 0.1.2 or something, and they're on dot 76. So there might be some big discrepancies. And also node, I think I'm on version like 14 here. I probably should have went to, I'm on version 16. So I mean, it's, it's a stable version. So let me show you the results of running those commands. If I look at this, when I ran that same command with node, I got about 1500 requests per second to 1600 requests per second, right? Compared to bun, I was getting 1300 requests per second 
Another one got 1,300 requests per second, 1,500 and 1,400. So again, Node is the clear winner in this, whatever this load test is doing. Um, so yeah, I, I'm seeing all these, these videos on YouTube pop up saying that Bun is super fast and like three times faster than the Node. But from what I'm seeing with my testing, and again, maybe my testing sucks. I'm not a professional QA tester or a load tester, but from just running these really basic load tests, I'm not seeing the hype hold up to what Bun's producing, okay? So that's all I wanted to kind of say. There's one more thing I wanted to talk about though, is if you try to run something simple like an express server in Bun, it just doesn't work. It actually just, it crashes. Now, again, maybe there's something about Bun that I need to read the docs and understand how it works. But like, if you actually try to go and run this, it just doesn't work. And I thought the idea of the bun runtime is that you can have identical code to node and have it run and just be faster, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. So if I were to actually go to this directory, which I believe I call it uh, load test or what do I call it? Benchmark. Let me go to bun bad. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and run bun on this file. And notice that it just crashes. Right, and there's actually a GitHub issue opened up saying that Bun doesn't work with Express because Express uses some Node lower level libraries that Bun hasn't implemented yet. And that makes sense, Bun is in beta, but I do just wanna highlight the fact that if you're a beginner to web development and beginner coder, and you see that people are saying Bun is super fast, like this stuff isn't gonna work. This stuff is in beta, it's not gonna work for whatever you're trying to do. But it's an interesting idea of trying to make running JavaScript faster by using the JavaScript core runtime instead of the V8 runtime. So I don't know if you have any comment questions or concerns, let me know if my load tests were just written poorly or they suck, but I'd be curious to see how uh, doing a little bit more load testing and kind of fleshing out some better load tests. Like maybe I should actually have a server that talks to SQL, writes to SQL and does whatever, et cetera, and compare that to node. But overall, like looking at this little graph and clicking on the view source going to a 404 page is kind of concerning. So I don't know how they, oh, it actually loaded this time. Maybe they just fixed it. So yeah, maybe Bun is super fast at rendering like React server-side components. And that is kind of the next steps I want to kind of look into to see, does this actually hold up to the, you know, the metrics that they're saying. But overall, I'm kind of excited for just having some push in the right direction of increasing JavaScript's performance running on the, you know, the API side of things or just running in general. Because sometimes JavaScript can be pretty slow. Sometimes Node can be pretty slow. Sometimes adding stuff with NPM install can be super slow. So I'm kind of psyched. I hope this thing actually starts becoming better. And maybe in a year or two, we can revisit it and it'll be production ready and we can start actually using this. One last remark I'll end with is, you know that you can use a library or a framework when Amazon Web Services supports it as a Lambda runtime, right? If you go to Amazon and try to create a Lambda function, if Bun is not in that dropdown, then you know that this framework or library or technology is not ready for prime time. Anyway, have a good day and happy coding. Be sure to join my Discord if you want to talk to me directly or have a discussion about this benchmark that I did against Bun and Node.